What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you guys drive for app, apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That is correct, everybody. So hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, everybody, let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. So uh, this person wants to be anonymous, so I will respect that. And they said the following, hey Pete, please keep my name anonymous. I'm a newer driver. For context, I drive full time, full time now due to a sudden health change, and I hope you feel better. So after a couple of months, I just got reported by a passenger for the first time. I drive for Uber, but have other services pending. I had a bad experience with a passenger who started an argument with me. I ended the daytime trip immediately, being sure to leave the rider in a safe place. I immediately sent a complaint regarding the trip. After I submitted my complaint, the rider submitted one of their own along with a one-star rating, emphasis on after. And I've been an Uber rideshare driver before, so I, I can feel their pain with this. To my surprise, I received a formal warning from customer support as a resolution of the rider's complaint. Yet hours later, my own complaint remains unaddressed. The situation brings a few questions to mind. Do I get deactivated if one more rider submits a complaint, given the warning only indicates multiple complaints are required? Do I need to wear a full-fledged customer service mask so I can report rider community guideline violations without fearing for a retal retaliation complaint? Almost all of my ratings are five stars, but do have single-digit instances of lower ratings. I have, I have less than 500, appro approaching 350 trips so far. So a one-star rating stings and sticks out on my profile. If passengers ask me about a low-star rating, what can I tell them without losing their trust, even in the event I don't know why someone gave a low rating? It seems like telling them, I don't know, would train passengers to use customer service to make sure the driver does know, thus come with a guarantee of inevitable deactivation. Yet sharing details when I do know could backfire by merely painting myself in bad light along with soaring the mood, the mood of the trip. Most people don't think very highly of someone who complains about someone else. For clarity, I would never volunteer such a topic. I truly mean in the if asked situation. Thanks for the thanks for any tips. Love your channel. So here's here's how I look at it because I have been uh, an Uber driver and Lyft. Uh, back in 2017, when I first started pay to drive, I was doing a bit of ride share and delivery. And um, then in 2018, in the summer again, I uh, tried doing Uber again for a little while and it was okay. But for me, it was never uh, my forte. So I would, I would also urge you to this particular driver. Um, definitely, like you said, you're pending on the other service as well. Definitely always have uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, um, you know, the others always have those as backups in case in, in a situation you do get deactivated. Now, whatever the argument was, wh whoever started it, that's completely your business. You don't have to share that with anybody. Um, I wouldn't be too worried or concerned right now, speaking for the fact that the majority of your ratings are, are good. Okay, and yes, that one star rating absolutely stings. I was lucky enough uh, in all my Uber and Lyft trips, which uh, they were hundreds of them, that's for sure. I did a lot of them. Um, I didn't get any one star ratings. I did get a couple of four stars, but you know, normally it was always a five star um, because I, I have the gift of gab. You guys know that from watching my videos. I can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and I know when to shut up too to let somebody else talk. So again, I don't know what the argument was about that led to this one star rating, but I would say in the future, just keep doing what you feel is right. Remember, you're an independent contractor. It's your vehicle. So what you feel is best is gonna be what's best for you. Now, what I would do is I would contact Uber and let them 
open up a, a support ticket or something for that particular ride, let them know your side of what happened and maybe they can put a note down or something so in case there's ever an issue again, uh, they can always refer back to that particular note and you know it may help you down uh, you know in the long run. But absolutely diversify what you're doing. Don't just put all your eggs in one basket because there are people, even creators on YouTube that were Uber and Lyft drivers. They got deactivated from one platform and then got stuck only doing the other. And then there were some people that got deactivated from both and couldn't do any ride share. So diversification is always gonna be the best backup plan. So get on the other apps like you have, been, like you said, you're pending on those. Definitely, uh, you know, get on those as well. So with that being said, everybody, let me know what your thoughts are about this particular driver situation. Any advice you have for them about the one-star ratings, let us know in the chat or the comments. And if you ever wanna send me anything for a video, send me an email, paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash pay to drive. That link is in the description or the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up on there, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, of course, sign up down below for that. And of course, if you haven't yet, I hope you're all saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone that allows you to save money every time you go to the gas pump. So you can be saving money today. If you don't have this app, seriously, pause the video, look in the bottom of the description, click that link all the way at the bottom for Get Upside. You can, it'll download the app right to your smartphone. Any kind of phone will work. Then you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. All right. And of course, if you want one of these awesome, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right shirts, you can get one of your own at paytodrivestore.com. Everything's on sale every day. And of course, of course, aha, we have lots of designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. So get all your t shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. All right. So. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 435, E-N-D 435. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, uh, don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified every time I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you next time. All right. That's it. Gotta go. Peace.